Rotating equipment is encountered in almost every technology sector. Satellite reaction wheels, laboratory centrifuges, kinetic energy storage devices and hybrid aircraft engines are just a few examples of systems relying on rotating devices spinning in different speed regimes. So what is this all about? Well, while the Julia environment offers various mature suites for finite element analysis, there seems to be a gap in the domain of rotor dynamics with their peculiarities, such as a cross-coupling gyroscopic effect of two planes, bearing elasticity to name a few. With this tool, a user can simulate its rotor dynamic system at various operating speeds and gain a better understanding in the physical phenomena involved. I'm Lissandros, and then let's get started and see what the main features of Flywheel are. Alright, so first we can type in Julia using Flywheel, which will tell the program that we want to use this module in this session. And we can follow with Flywheel Blueprint and the name of the file. What this does is it generates a two-dimensional view of the system as we have defined it in this Blueprint file. The geometric parameters at each finite element beam followed by some material properties as the material density, Young modulus, etc. And then also discrete elements like supporting bearings. Zero means no bearing, one means there is one. The elasticity coefficient of these bearings, as well as then discrete disks, which uh, we can additionally define with a specific um, density and also thickness and diameter. All right, now let's move to the core of the software tool. By typing flywheel underscore fair matrices, we can generate the inertia, gyroscopy, damping, and stiffness matrix of the entire system. Next, we can type in flywheel gravity in order to get a static gravity response of the system. Another function is to generate a waterfall plot. What this does is it shows us with a progression of rotational speed whether we encounter an eigenfrequency of the system which can lead to a high vibration level. Last but not least, we can illustrate the eigen modes of vibration of the rotor at a specific rotational speed and see how the mode shape evolves.